All right, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. As uh, Mickey Mouse, well, part of Mickey Mouse, Steamboat Willie Mickey is now in the public domain. There's a trailer for a horror film, Mickey's Mouse Trap. I do think they might get. I, I think they might get a lawsuit because it's uh, Steamboat Willie, not Mickey. M Mickey Mouse. The actual character of Mickey Mouse is trademarked by Disney. So I do think Disney will... I think they will try to do some form of a lawsuit here. So anyway, a bit of a background before I get too into this. If you didn't know, the Steamboat Willie version of Mickey Mouse, right, is now public domain. Uh, copyright has lapsed on it. I'm very surprised, and I, I said on the lead-up to things like this, I'm very surprised that Disney hasn't attempted to change the copyright laws. There, were, there was huge lobbying before from major movie studio companies, Disney included, primarily Disney, actually, to change copyright laws so they could hold on to characters for longer. And that's why it is as long as it is. But they didn't do anything. Apparently, they didn't even try to, which is, again, really, really surprising. And so now, the earliest iteration of Mickey Mouse, Steamboat Willie, this version, completely black eyes, you know, pupils, very, very long limbs, that's important, and no gloves. This version of Mickey Mouse, Steamboat Willie, is now in the public domain. And so immediately afterwards, this trailer for Mickey Mickey's Mousetrap was posted online. So it's a new film, obviously. Deadline says that there's clips from Walt Disney's 1928 animated classic Steamboat Willie are shown, interspersed with newly shot footage that tells the story of a mouse mask-wearing killer who stalks college age kids at an arcade so the implication you can see it here we'll take a look at it in a minute the implication right is that this character is steamboat willy mickey but i don't i don't think it i'm i'm very surprised i don't think it is i mean maybe i mean they're obviously trying to imply that it is because of the clips but, yeah, I, I'm very surprised. I, I do think Disney will come after them. But let's, let's take a look anyway. Oh. We'll, we'll restart that, apparently. These are the best party that we can throw. <laughs> I've seen some rejections in my time, but... Man, that was a There's blood all over the jungle gym. Blood? Yes. dead. What? Like if he was in a horror movie, you'd never say, I'll be right back. Because then you don't. Where the hell did he go? 
Wow. That looks terrible, doesn't it? That looks absolutely awful. I was going to do a reaction. I just can't be bothered. It's, it's just my face going... Uh, oh, this is genuinely terrible. Now, they said that this is shot, edited, and directed by Jamie Bailey, written by Simon Phillips. So, this is a, apparently a Steamboat Willie-inspired horror game. Oh, sorry, no. And also, there's a, there is a, a, a Steamboat Willie-inspired horror game as well that, that was released. That actually looks... I don't know, mildly better, I guess. Uh, I'm just, I, mm, I'm pretty certain Mickey, Mickey, is, and the mouse element is trademarked. That'll be anyway. Someone a bit more litigious in the comments that will be able to uh, drop down there and let me know. But I think this is bordering on it anyway. And they even say here. So, is there a lawsuit in the filmmaker's future? Because they say this, more modern versions of Mickey will remain unaffected by the expiration of the Steamboat Willie copyright and Mickey will continue to play a leading role as a global ambassador for the Walt Disney Company in our storytelling, theme park attractions and merchandise. We will of course continue to protect our rights in the more modern versions of Mickey Mouse and other works that remain subject to copyright and we will work to safeguard against consumer confusion caused by unauthorised uses of Mickey... That's the point, right? Mickey. And our other iconic characters. Uh, the sharpest leg hold trap Disney can still put down to snare anyone trying to encroach on its Mickey territory is perception. Even though the original incarnation of A.A. A. Milne's beloved character had slipped into the public do uh, dominion in 2022, no one in their right mind truly thought Disney was behind last year's Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey. And getting into slasher flicks, however... If there was a version, Steamboat Willie and or Plain Crazy's Mickey or Minnie, then in any way lead consumers to believe it came from Disney or it implied as much the Mouse House's lawyer would shut that project down. I do think it is a little bit. I don't know. What do you think? I mean, it looks terrible, just as an FYI. I think this looks absolute garbage. Um... But it's interesting nonetheless, so what do you guys think? Let me know down below. The only good thing of these kind of movies, generally speaking, is that they've got some, you know, hot-looking blondes uh, in them with, you know, big tits and stuff. Which, you know, I'm all for that. All for a hot blonde with big tits. Um, but this one doesn't even look like it's got that, unfortunately. So, yeah, not my jam. Looks like it might be, yeah, a bit of crap, I think. But never mind. You know, may maybe we'll get better ones. Adaptations. What do you guys think? Let me know down below. Cheers, guys. Take care. Bye-bye now.